Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So lately I have been seeing these doodle artists paint on their gadgets like the I don't know iPads or phones or airport boxes, laptops and stuff. So I was like mm, this is a really good idea because right now I am out of supplies in the middle of the lockdown so I need more surfaces to paint. So I decided to take random objects as my surface. So today I'm going to paint this calculator. So if you know me well enough, you probably know that I'm a literature student. But back in high school, I had math, science as my subjects. And of course, I needed this. But to be honest, this has been inside my drawer for a couple of years. I really didn't use it. And I kind of hate it because it reminds me of maths. No disrespect to mathematicians or math lovers, but it's just not my cup of tea. So I thought to give it a new makeover. So first of all, I used sandpaper on it to get rid of the glossy surface and it looks already destroyed. Then I covered the parts that I don't want to paint with tape so that I don't spill paint on them. And after that, I decided to start the painting process. I know it looks so crappy right now, but don't worry. I had to remove the glossy surface for the paint to set in. So I covered it with a layer of white acrylic paint to give me like to act as a primer for the original colors. And finally, I decided to start painting it with acrylics. So I choose this dark purplish uh, bluish color i actually mixed prussian blue with uh, crimson lake and i wanted to create a gradient so it goes from like a midnight blue to slowly to this dark purple color uh, and i really like that horizontal you know texture it had um, because i used the brush on, in only one direction and it looked great I the uh, front cover I used a lighter color because I added a little bit of titanium white to the mixture I made earlier. Um, here the gradient is also pretty obvious and after that I created this mountain type thingy by mixing the color burnt sienna with the Prussian blue and after that I added some white in it to create another shade to draw another hill behind this hill. So I wanted to make uh, a landscape um, where there are hills and then there are clouds. So I wanted to slowly, uh, like, I wanted to make the hill that is the in the foreground darker than the one that's in the background. I know this is not at all how it works. Uh, usually the mountains that are behind would be darker, but this is a stylistic choice that I made just to make it look uh, like give it a pop of color and yeah so this is my last mountain I went a really really pale blue color for with a blue blue color for this pale blue and then I decided to start painting the clouds so as I was saying I think that I'm going to turn this into a series like I would Take some random objects and start painting on them because this is really fun actually like turning your boring everyday objects into pretty things um, it's it doesn't have any other reason than making things beautiful look beautiful for me uh, it doesn't serve any other purpose um, of course it's fun um, yeah that's it so I think I'm gonna name this series something like customizing random objects for fun c-r-o-f-f -F. we can call it the croft series yeah so this is gonna be the episode one of the croft series yeah so i say yeah a lot i realized anyway um as i was saying uh, yeah this is gonna be the first episode episode of the croft series and i don't even know what i'm gonna do with this calculator um, because i really don't have any use of it it just it's just a decorative piece right now but if you honestly guys if if you live near me uh, if you are from my college or if you know for me personally just get in touch with me if you want this calculator i'm gonna sell it to you at a really low price but trust me it is in perfect condition so now i take uh, the back cover and i decide to 
go with the same theme as the front cover so this this part is going to be the upper part of the sky so here there are not going to be the hills or the clouds but just the moon and some stars i tried to paint the moon with pearl colors directly but i realized that it has a really transparent look so i had to wait for the pearl color to dry so that i could do a new layer of titanium white paint on the moon to make it look a little bit more opaque because i was going for this cartoony opaque style and i thought i should add at least one cloud to like uh, make the two pictures cohesive like make them look like this part of the same picture actually so i added one more cloud here and it kind of brightened the piece up instantly so yeah it was a good thing um then i start to like fix the moon a little bit yeah i think i kind of messed up the shape of the moon but it doesn't matter i as i said it's a cartoony style so um i can make the mistakes look pretty as well then i kind of made the stars a little bit more bigger like i turned them into circles like kind of like polka dots really tiny polka dots um and i like that effect i'm sorry if my dog is barking like crazy so actually my dog has a boyfriend like she has a boyfriend and uh, that boyfriend is kind of her distant cousin and he is he lives near and he often comes to visit her and she goes crazy whenever he's here so apologies anyway i take a black cd marker and sign my name on top of the front cover now it looks done but it's not there's a really important piece left and for that we need a mask yeah and trust me there is no crisis of mask because we're in the middle of a pandemic and i'm going to use this acrylic picture varnish for this to cover the cases with this this way it will look a little bit more professional and also it will preserve the paint from chipping off so yeah this is the final result and i'll see you in the reveal guys i hope you enjoyed th this video and i hope you guys are going to like this craft series that i have started on my channel um and i will see you guys in the next video uh like share comment and subscribe and press the bell icon if you haven't already bye